Welcome back to Rome Boys. On this episode, we're hanging with the Saints. Today, St. Martin de Pours. Yeah. He was Pours. <laughs> Did he die? No. Of Did he have clean pores? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clean pores. Not very much acne. Patron saint of acne. No. There you go. <laughs> so before we get started, uh, we'd like to encourage everybody to subscribe to this channel. Help support do our it. mission. Do it. Do it now. Just do it. Uh, check us you out like on it? all of our uh, social media outlets: Rumble, MeWe, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Parlor, Gab. Um, what's the new one that we're Even on? Even Patreon. Patreon. There we're you go. On Patreon. <laughs> Check and us out. Yeah, check us out on all those and help support our mission to get the gospel out to everybody all over the world. It's Speaking, the mission, man. It's the mission. It's the mission. Isn't that the mission? Isn't that the why we fight? Speaking of all over the world, I want to get a quick shout out to Diane Anderson. She lives in Sacramento, California, and she sent us these beautiful rosaries Ooh. to give out to uh, our lucky listeners who... who uh, uh, Win some of our challenges, uh, yeah. such as the one with Father Larry Richards. One go. of our RCIA students even said, "Hey, mine only has nine, uh, <laughs> nine uh, Hail Marys on it." Like that's the short version. There you no, go. Diane, no, I'm not, not calling you out there. It's just Oops. they are homemade. And yeah, they're very homemade. Yeah, they are awesome. beautiful. This one, my wife really loves this one because it's the colors of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Yes. So, yeah, she really Pray loves that. And Miami Hurricanes, if you're into that. <laughs> there you go. It's pretty there you go. cool. So, back to hanging with yeah. the Saints. St. Martin de Pours. Yes, his parents never married each other, and his father abandoned the family. Martin was reared in poverty. When he was 12 years old, his mother apprenticed him to a barber surgeon. Martin learned how to cut hair and also how to draw blood. A standard medical treatment then. Dude, care for I mean, wounds and prepare and administer medicines. After a few years of this medical apostolate, Martin applied to the Dominicans to be a lay helper, not feeling himself worthy to be a religious brother. After nine years, the example of his prayer and penance, charity and humility, led the community to request him to make a full religious profession. Many of his nights were spent in prayer and penitential practices. His days were filled with nursing the sick and caring for the poor. He was interest, uh, instrumental in founding an orphanage, took care of slaves brought from Africa, and managed the daily alms of the priory with practicality as well as generosity. When his priory was in debt, he said, I am only a poor maletto. Sell me. I am the property of this order. Sell me. Crazy. Side by side with his daily work in the kitchen, laundry, and infirmary, Martin's life reflected God's extraordinary gifts ecstasies that lifted him into the air lift uh, light filling the room where he prayed by location miraculous knowledge sound familiar joe <laughs> I need instantaneous a little of that. <laughs> cures uh, and a remarkable rapport with animals get this as he kept stray cats and dogs smart man at his sister's house <laughs> <The cat> house <laughs> Uh, I can be cool like that, too. I mean, I'll keep a bunch of cats and dogs at your house, Johnny. Yeah, right, thanks. Any, anytime. <laughs> Martin became a formidable fundraiser, obtaining thousands of dollars for dowries for poor girls. Hey, I got six daughters. I'm on to the... <laughs> he's on to start praying to this guy. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> so that they could marry or enter a convent. Many of his fellow religious took Martin as their spiritual director, but he continued to call himself... A poor slave. And we wanted to draw attention to this saint because how many people know about St. Martin de Bourse? Yeah, never, never heard of him. He's kind of kind of medium famous, but at the same time, if you ask anybody like, I don't know nothing about him. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. So yeah. that's why we want to draw attention to him. He's yeah. not he's not the uh, YouTube influencer maybe that some <laughs> others might be. Yeah, like, right. He's the behind the scenes. Yeah, kind of yeah, saint, yeah. social media influencer. <laughs> We're trying to get him up there in the rankings. There you He's go, not the most yeah. famous of saints who don't want to be famous. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Let's make him famous. I'll make you famous. Like right. Therese, right? Didn't want to stay in her convent and the whole world knew about it. Right. Right. Isn't right. that crazy how possible that <laughs> could be? You never know. Yeah. When you try to be little, so God does great things. So we have some stories uh -huh. for you. So the first one, 
It is certain that Martin spent all of his religious life in the monastery of the Holy Rosary in Lima, Peru. Yet according to many witnesses, he was seen at different times in Mexico, China, Japan, Africa, and the Philippine Islands. A good friend of the saint had to go on business to Mexico City, and he became very, very ill and called out in his suffering to Martin. Immediately the saint was beside him and reassured him he would soon recover and then disappeared. So a saint of bilocation. Dude, how cool would that be? He's like, you know what? I, I want to go to the beach today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But, but it's, almost, but, but it's God awesome. sending him. He can't get what he wants. Padre oh, Pio would yeah. say that, like, I don't do nothing for me. It's always God what he it's wants like for in me. In Mexico, I'm just thinking, margarita, <laughs> margarita, margarita. It's a worthy inclusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, please, please. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's like your parents, they're always watching. St. Martin, of course, just might show up. Yeah. So you better be on your best. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's another story about him where he was on a picnic with like 30 of his uh, novices, mm -hmm. his rookies. Yeah. Rookies to the order. Yeah, beginning. Yeah, so he was the yeah, other beginners. And uh, they were. They were having a great time, and they kind of lost track of time. So they're all sitting around, and they were like, oh, crap, we're going to be late for prayers. So they get up, and they realize they're not going to make it. They're going to be late. So St. Martin says, all right, boys, come here. And they kneel down, and they start to pray. And he said, just pray for God's will to be done or mm -hmm. something around those lines. And the next thing that they know, they're standing in front of the monastery in perfect timing, yeah. ready f to go in for prayers. Crazy. <laughs> and then imagine you're one of the novices. You're like, wow, this is cool. I'm definitely going to become a monk. You know? Yeah, brother. right. <laughs> I, was on the, I was on the fence. I was yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. was like, yeah. really no sure. Now. <laughs> I'd call that a big yes. Okay, going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy rocks. I just want to watch him. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> so is he the patron saint of people who are late? There you go. Uh, at least we're, we're gonna ask, yeah. right? That's why we're Brian drinking attention because we're late for always. Yeah. 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 Like our intro when you see the truck skidding into that was the yeah. church. Yeah, yeah we're late Running for late. church. Yeah. The bills are already just ringing. being Rome boys. Saint Martin often visited prisoners to relieve their spiritual and temporal needs. Uh, one of the men who was condemned to die the next day by hanging. First time. Mm -hmm. We'd be hanging with the saints. Mm, there you go. <laughs> uh, implored the saint to pray for him. The saint said he would, he would and went back to the monastery and was given the light to foretell what would take place. St. Martin promptly sent word to the prisoner that he should not fear since he would not be hanged. Mm. The next day, the prisoner was led through the streets, brought to the place of execution, when suddenly a woman's voice was heard. Obviously, wasn't a man. Like, I mean, really, <laughs> hmm. here comes a woman to save the day, right? It's, uh, from the balcony of the palace, the countless called for the execution to not occur. Talk about, like, the opposite of Jesus at the Praetorium, right? There you go. Uh, yeah. One can only imagine the shock and the relief the prisoner felt, and he was set free. Uh, be like, yeah, but I I need a new pair of shorts. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Uh, but but in the story, didn't Martin? Yeah, it says later on that so, he was able to get clothing, and Martin provided for his daily needs because he knew he needed them. So yep. he was a practical kind of guy. That's why I like him. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Yeah. So I, I'll uh, say yeah. Martin, a practical sort of person, uh, sent the man a new shirt. Yeah. A pair of breeches. <laughs> He's going to there need you go, it. because it's, he needed it, right? <laughs> and some money for his immediate needs. There it is. Yeah. You can imagine. Thinking I'm not, ahead. The, yeah, the, yeah. The, the image that comes to my mind is a guy on death row who's about to be executed, yeah, yeah. and then the call comes in from the governor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's her yelling from the balcony, don't do it. Yes. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear my brown pants. Bring me my brown pants. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or even like you know a president at the end of their lame duck session they start giving pardon mm -hmm. to all of these people sure yeah. um, it's uh, I guess St. Martin de Porres has that power yeah there you go yeah. but I think of him as a, a great missionary in a great way you know like we need Catholic missionaries it's very well known in the evangelical world in the Protestant world that but Catholic solid missionaries that go out and spread the gospel and he even did that and never left the monastery yeah. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so, was, so maybe in today's time, mm -hmm. uh, we Parlor, Rumble, there you go. YouTube, social media. Yeah, you can be in all sorts of locations at once. Yeah, there you Share go. Our at least have an influence <laughs> that way, right? What? Share our videos. Oh, Share yeah. our videos. Yeah. <laughs> Click, subscribe. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, we do that here. Yeah. Again, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Diane, for yeah. all the rosaries. Mm -hmm. Seriously. It's been wonderful. And in the meantime, be real. Be bold. Be Catholic. God, God bless, bless. you.